Hello, I'm Marie. And I'm Emmeline. And we are Wisdom Preserved. Where we are preserving the wisdom of the lost arts for life. We have finished um, preparing our hide to be tanned. The next step that we need to do is do our solution. Mm -hmm. So we need four gallons of water. Do we have these two or two gallons two each? Two gallons each, right? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and pour those and you pour them in a plastic garbage, garbage can. And two and a half pounds of salt. Yep. Go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm going to use a shovel to stir. Now this is a big pelt, so we'll have to see if we end up having to make some more of this. Yeah. Primarily, the leather isn't very big, but it's just that it has such long hair. Yeah. So yeah. we may have to adjust some things. So the next thing we need to do is take our one gallon of water and mix it with one pound of alum. Yep, and just make sure it dissolves really well. We're gonna stir it in there. And then we're going to slowly stir it in with the salt solution. Kind of in the bottom. Yeah. Right. Just a little Let's bit. Just scrape it out. That's why I've got the shovel. Okay. okay. All right. So now that we've got that solution all down in there, we're going to want to put our hide in. So we want the bulk of it. I'm going to put it hide side first. Yep. And you want to make sure that it's covered. If it's not, which might be the case with this big one, then, um, then like I said, we'll make some more and add it to it. And it'll Wait. sit. It'll sink in. Yeah. Well, and you kind of see it coming up. Yep. It's going to go further than we think. Yeah, I think so. But We'll go ahead and we'll get it nice and coated. And it's gonna be in this solution for four days. After the four days, we'll take a peek at it. But mm -hmm. for those four days, we'll just come out and regularly make sure that, that it's nicely covered, start around a little bit, get it more coated. When you're using your shovel, make sure that you're careful with it so that you don't puncture any holes oh, yeah. in that hide. Right, normally I wouldn't use a shovel to be moving the hide. More like a tamp, like a flatter surface. Right, right, area. Uh, right. But for this case, this one has such a such a long hair that it's it's easy to do. Right. So. But if yours hasn't, doesn't have the right. long hair. Yeah, don't poke your shovel through your hide. That would be horrible. Yeah. <laughs> no. All right, well, we'll see how it's going in a couple days. Thanks. Our hide is now done with the alum solution. We took it out, we washed it off, and we have now tacked it onto a board. Mm -hmm. okay. It's nice and stretched. We're going to make the solution for tanning the hide. We're going to prepare the solution for tanning the hide now. We want to begin by zeroing out our scale for our bowl, which we are almost there, obviously I used this with it the last time. And we need to do three and a half ounces of warm water. Almost there, let's see, three ounces. Three and a half. So this is such small amounts that it can be really easy to I think I'm gonna go just a touch more. I was gonna say, you have to look straight From the on. angle, yeah, yeah. I'd go just a little more there too, yeah, yeah. Okay, just because we're being picky. Yeah, that's <laughs> we want to have 
the right mixture for right, doing this. Right, no, you it's know, so true. That way you can get the best product mm -hmm. possible. I think so. Then we're doing the Pure Neats Foot Oil. We'll do another three and a half ounces. So that's gonna bring it up to the seven ounce mark. Mm -hmm. And this tends to want to spill, Be so trippy. nice that I have a bowl that's big enough to catch it. Especially since I'm trying to do small amounts. If I did large amounts, it would probably be no big deal. Okay, so that's up past the seven. I'm just gonna let it kind of drip off. Scrape the edge. And the last ingredient for this is ammonia. And you want to do one ounce of that. Which is not very much at all. There we go. So now we're going to use the funnel to pour it into our spray bottle. It gets just a little bit foamy from the ammonia. It's kind of interesting looking. And I try to get as much as I can in there because it's really not very much. And then we'll put the lid on it and shake it up. Now it's ready to be used. The spray bottle is a fabulous addition because it's a really easy way of making sure that you can get it over the entire mm -hmm. thing. We have also marked it for the halfway point because we're gonna put half on, wait an hour, and then we'll put the other half on. And we've used this same proportion before, so we knew where the halfway point was That's right. already. We've got gloves that we're gonna use to, just to protect our hands because we wanna tan the hide, not our hands. Not our hands. <laughs> We've got our solution all done and we came out here to spray it on, just realized that it was too wet. Because of the extra amount of hair that this hide has, it took it a little bit longer to dry out enough to do this. You want it close to dry, but not all the way dry. If you do have any areas that seem like they're too dry to you, you can add just a little bit of water to soften them up. Um, so now that we are ready to do it. I'm gonna shake this up because it is a water and oil solution. And so since we made it beforehand, it's gonna need to be remixed. I've already marked on the bottle where the halfway point is because we wanna do half of it now and then the other half in another hour. So now we're at the halfway point. We're gonna wait an hour and then we'll do the rest. So it's been an hour. We're gonna go ahead and spray it again, rub it down. And then because of the amount of um, fiber on this, of wool, it's gonna take, oh, probably, probably about a week or more to, to dry. dry sufficiently so that we can, we can soften up the leather. So let's get started. Now that we're done applying the oil to the, to the hide, we're gonna go ahead and cover it with plastic. That'll allow it to dry, but not too quickly and absorb the oil. So we'll be back when we're ready for the next point. 